What's up, you beautiful nerds? Welcome back to Nerdy Chic Plays. I'm Richard. I'm Mari. And yes, we are continuing with the third installment of Dead Space Remake. Space. Space. I want to go to space. Ah, uh, game you probably wish we were playing instead, don't you, Han? Yes! At least uh, well, we don't have that game, so we can't. I mean, I at least I could take on GLaDOS and her uh, quirky snarkiness, but this, this, uh-uh. She, she killed an entire lab full of people, and, and a lot of them didn't even realize it was happening until they were already dead, hon. True. True. And yet she gets turned into a potato. By a different mad computer AI. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see what I mean? Only one she lost was basically to someone like her. Eh, true. Or rather, not only way she lost, but yeah, the way she, the way that happened was... It kind of shows how much technology can be evil. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, then we go end up going down that route. Mm. Yeah. Open. Open. <sighs> Let's see how many times I'll scream tonight. Open. Open. Quite a few. Quite a few. Jeez, that's reassuring. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see. We already got you screaming quite a few times last time, so he... Yeah. He... <clears throat> uh, let's see. I don't think we've triggered more... Yeah, I don't think us just going through here. All right, here, here's the spot where Jenkins smashed his head against the window. <laughs> okay. Well, to be fair, all the shit that happened, he probably lost his mind. Oh. Okay, so our marker is saying the shock pad is this way. Well, let's take a look at the consultation room. Oh, yeah. Big old blood smear near the bed, and no but no body to find. Oh, oh yeah, fun times. Ooh, the extra fun thing, hun. The shadows from the, from the medical exam table thing in the center of the room. Yeah, it keeps on playing all kinds of crazy shadows on the wall, so... Oh, it makes it look like there's shit running around out there. At least I can't see that. <laughs> Even though if I would, I'd be like, "Oh, audio oh. log." Our tests on patient Harris were inconclusive. Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps, but I saw nothing divine. This is Doctor Kine. Blood. Interesting this name. This is a revelation. Terrorist. This is Doctor Mercer. Translated, you think this insight can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche? I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to Aegis 7, this fellow may be our best chance. Harris is Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated enough already. <laughs> I can't sign off on this. You'll do what's best, of course, but... Okay. How long can we afford to wait? At least that wasn't Matt so, Mercer voicing him. <laughs> so, sounds, sounds like, like Mercer's a bit of a... a rogue Dr. House type. Yeah, you know, doing, doing mm -hmm. shit that, like, the other docs don't approve of, but... But, you know, made it sound like he was trying to figure out what was going on here. Suspicion... I was gonna say, and, you know, like, you know, I mean, just kind of look at all the craziness that's going on, it's like... Especially with there's so much blood. Diagnostic technician... ...are 9.30 to 4.30. At 16.30 it says, so 4.30 in the afternoon, but... Right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, this, this is the room we were already in. There's a bench here and everything, so we can... You know, do, you know, do some upgrades, but appears we already did those, and looks like the next thing we need to do is go upstairs. So, circuit breaker swap two elevators. 
to chemical and cryogenic lab. Okay. That's just locked, so we're not allowed to go there yet. Oh. All right, we can take this little I guess you know, mini later. industrial lift up. Uh. Oh. Whoa! Uh. Yay! Uh, that. Uh, uh. Holy shit! Holy shit! Uh. Oh yeah, because this one's doing the liquor thing and falling uh, the walls. Oh no! Uh, uh, holy shit! Oh. Uh, and mother. Kill the fire! Wait, you don't what have do that. What do you I'm think I'm trying to do, uh. hon? <laughs> I'm trying to kill it, it's just motherfucker keeps on running around on the goddamn walls and making it a little difficult for me to do. So, being a necromorph makes you Spider-Man. Great! Oh, <laughs> well, at least makes... That kind, Spider-Man. Oh. A oh, kind, cool. Spider-Man. Oh, cool. I okay, can... I just heard a scream. What the? F uh, uh, okay, I heard that. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, there's probably one like meat. <laughs> uh. All right, now I can drag the drag the med equipment thing over here. Yeah, you know, the little med bed thing. I've got a fire extinguisher, no, and oh yeah, yeah, that's great! Holy fuck! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I should have brought the 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 big Eevee plushie. Uh, Infidels written in blood on the wall. Oh, wow! Yeah. Hon, it wasn't just that, oh, there were monsters. It looks uh -huh. like everyone might have started going nuts. I guess. I, I guess well, because, well, because, you know, it, mm -hmm. you know, kind of really only one way to read that. Infidels. Okay, people started going in religious cuckoo butter over here. I guess. Well, that, I guess that what happens when you're uh, confined to one space. Observation room. Ooh, there's a locker over here. Ooh, a locker. It's got stuff. Whoa! 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 Ah! Liquor just jumped against the glass. Called up. Probably gonna bust out of one of the vents now. Oh, especially considering there's six here on the ceiling. Five. Five here on the ceiling. Shut up. You feel comfy, hon? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, nothing to observe, and I and it doesn't even look like there's a door to open, and all these chests are locked. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nasty. Okay. Hang on, the music is helping. Oh. Ooh. Okay. To chem cryogenic, cryogenic slab, slab that's still locked. Okay. To zero G therapy. Okay. Ooh. Zero G. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Security clearance level two. Doctor B W. Doctor B Warwick. CPO. Yeah. CPO. <laughs> USG Ishimura Clinic. That CPO is missing a three. <laughs> P3PO. <laughs> Hello! Woo! Oxygen meter. It, in a vacuum, the rig will display how much air you have left. Really? 
Yeah, yeah so the bed I was telling you, hon, where one of the upgrade things is the air segment, it's mm -hmm. because, yeah, for moments like this where we enter the vacuum, yes, we have a limited air supply. Oh. We either have to use, we either have to use portable oxygen tanks to refill, or we have to find actual refill stations scattered throughout these areas. Ooh, got another semiconductor, a.k.a. money! Yay! Open, open. All right, and then, like, say, for example, when we enter a spot... But you also notice, like, we couldn't hear anything except our own suit uh -huh. stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's another cool thing that they did with these games, is they actually remembered, oh, right, you can't hear anything in the vacuum. Mm -hmm. So the only sound you hear is Isaac's own breathing, mm -hmm. any of the other suit stuff, mm -hmm. because those would obviously be piped in, and you... And you... Well, here, I'll step outside real quick. Like again, just so you can notice this. Yeah, well. Yeah. yeah, like once the door closes and everything, and you know the decompression happens. Mm -hmm. Notice, no sound. You yeah. can kind of hear the footsteps. You hear the slight beeping of the uh -huh. EKG monitor and the oxygen thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, missed this. It was a crate. Ooh, medicine. So yeah, like our own diegetic stuff, but also listen. Yeah, I guess. You can kind of hear the thump of the plasma cutter going off in your hands. Yeah, you know, which Isaac is only is only kind of hearing. It's more that he's feeling it. See, ah. but same thing with like the pulse rifle. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's just what's kind of cool about these games. Yeah. Yeah, and then until it actually. Repressurizes. Now all the sound is back. Yep, and I'm hearing the heart beating. So I guess being in the vacuum could also cause you to die in these games. If you let the oxygen meter run out, yes. Ah. <clears throat> Use boot and suit thrusters to navigate zero gravity. Ooh. Yeah, this is something that they didn't include until the second game, actually. Yeep. Oh, that's just, just what, that's, that's no, nah, that's just the lights kicking on, hon. But, gotcha. But, gotta yeah. remember, I have the 3D sound. I know, but I'm just saying, but it's just, just the lights, lights hon. I know, yeah. but, but, the, but, the, mm. but, yeah, this is the, this is the kind of cool thing. Before you, in the first game, like, originally, you literally just jumped from spot to spot in Zero-G like this. This free-flowing motion, this full 3D motion that you have here, like, whee! That was something that, um, wasn't included until Dead Space 2. Ah. Yep. Well, only way to break the crates is to either use kinesis to throw them around. Which means I either have to do that, like, at a spot at the wall really close to me so that I don't have to go chase it. Alright. Like that, or I have to shoot it like I did the other one. Gotcha. Yeah, how cool is this? Very. Yeah, we got our freaking Iron Man boots and thrusters on the back. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, so this is the door we need. That's the door we came through. Let's just see. Trying to make sure we're not missing any items, ammo pickups, anything like that. <laughs> yeah, just hold on. I am Iron Man. <laughs> Uh, let's see, would it let me... No, it's not going to let me land here on the uh, 
wall, so to speak, uh, despite the fact that I have magnetic boots. Damn it, I should be able to just climb. <laughs> I should be able to just like land here on on the wall essentially and just walk <laughs> with magnets. Like, yeah, that's not when that doesn't seem ominous. Yeah, we're basically in the locker room. There's a bunch of other, like, suit, you know, engineer suits and stuff like ours. Mm hmm. But also look like a few soldier suits. But yeah, also just. Why do you smear on the wall? Time. <laughs> Ugh. I think it's supposed to be scrawled like it's time, but. Mm hmm. Some of these are admittedly looking kind of like. Not just weird symbols. Oh. Assurance. All in one nutrition. Don't, don't deplete yourself. yourself. It's like they're made. Oh, so nasty protein stuff. Multivitamins. Oh, gotcha. We're about to enter the zero gravity therapy room. Ooh. Oh, that's the room we just came from. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that, oh, that, that's disturbing, hon. We found another, another vending machine, hon. Meat Co. Barbecue Snacks. Meat Co. But of course, laziness, it's the same little food model, it's the same little food bag models. From, like, like the, the chips, chips and, and the cookies, cookies and all that. Oh, oh, someone needs to be more creative. What's happening there? Did you find the cold? No, oh, I remember, for the most part, they're just retexturing the game that was already oh, made, huh? Yeah. On True. Two console generations ago? Okay. True. Work fast, Isaac. <clears throat> I'm trying to work fast. All right, we found the hydrazine tanks, and now it's time to get ambushed. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, uh, oh, you I thought it was fun before, hun? Try it! Try now that we can have these fuckers in zero gravity. Oh, no. Uh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, fucking ow! Son of a bitch. Oh, God. This is not therapy. This is... Dad. Mm-hmm. Really? Just the one? Okay. Because one, I remember getting ambushed, and, you know, the ambush in this room involved, like, multiple ones of them last, you know, back when I played, played the OG game. Yeah. Um, it shut the whole shit. I'll check it out. Can't open. I'm lost. Oh, it looks, it looks like, like part, part of my pathway, pathway got blocked, blocked too. too. Mm. 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 False rifle rounds. Oh, oh hey, an oxygen replenisher. To coolant pipeline, maintenance personnel only. Mm. Oh, whoa! Surprise! Yeek! Holy shit! Uh. Yeek! Yeek! 
was not expecting that. Uh, I know, never expect the unexpected. I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. Okay. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Open. Okay. Which I'm trying to! Exiting zero gravity. Yeah. Um. Hmm, pulse, pulse round schematics. schematics. Uh, so now when I stop, stop by, by the next store kiosk, I can upload it and now, and now I'll be able to buy more pulse rounds if I need to. Hmm. Liquid nitrogen pipes just kind of burst oh, a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Which glad. again, I'm in an. Oh, oh fuck a duck. Huh? Wait, what the fuck? One popped up behind me, too. Ooh. Transparent alloys, keeping you working, keeping you safe. Yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm safe. Yellow. Breaking a malfunctioning lock circuit so that now, it, so that now one of the locked doors is actually unlocked. I saw. Uh, this oh, this one was back, back here, here near the. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, right near, 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 near Jenkins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jenkins. At least his name was not Leroy. Oh, that's cool. In storage, they've actually got the uh, classic costume. Cool.
You got plenty of dead people. Yeah, that ain't good. Mm. Oh, we've got another slamming door. Wow. Yeah, there's so many nice air vents right here. Yeah. Hun, shut up. <laughs> okay. Impaling and throwing, grab loose objects with pieces, throw sharp objects at enemies to impale them. Yeah. Uh, knew that part already, but thank you, game. Ooh. Ooh okay, I remember these from Dead Space 2. Okay, so they... What? Uh, basically, the javelins. Oh, and of course the lights went out. Oh, okay. yeah. Yay! Quarantine! Um... Ah! Ah! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Ah! Ah! Mommy! Yeah. Ah! Okay! Go! Go! Uh, I'm trying! Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I got one of them. I just missed the one who was like right up in my face. Of course, uh, it gets the one feel surprise, motherfucker. Whoa. Ah! 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 Holy shit! Ah! Doesn't sound good. No. Nah. Oh, jeez, I'm, I'm about to die. die. What do you mean? Like, like literally, I'm at the last little, little sliver of health. Oh, damn. Uh, let's yeah. see. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, think, hon. Because I also used up both of my last little mini med packs, so yeah, I am in danger. Uh, yeah, you're screwed. Okay, let's see. I need to go access something to. Basically, basically turn, turn off the quarantine. Yeah! Holy crap! Uh, no. Yes! Yeah. Oh, thank God, this one dropped a lot. Oh, oh. Hello. Ha! Ah, got, got him in the face. Why? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Die. Uh, uh. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, so that's death count three. <laughs> oh, and this is bad. It's been a while. Since, it was a while since I saved. So we have to go through all that again. Oh, let's see where the autosave dropped us off. Oh, it dropped us off right right outside the room. So we only have to do the room again. Oh, great. 
I mean, I think so, because it means we just have to fight better this time. Uh, good point. Mm. Oh, no. Meep. Yeah. Which, see? Look at that. I already did better. Killed that one on the first shot with one of those things. It's like, come on, buddy. Where's where's your buddies? Where's your friend? I, I see one of them. Hi, yeah, buddy. There we go. It's like, do you want an apple core? Yeah. Yeah. Ha -ha. <laughs> what? It's like, ha, -ha you missed. <laughs> yeah. Well. Ah, 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 oh, no, I killed, killed another one. one. Killed yeah. another one, so it's just this oh guy. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ha! And he's dead. Hello. See, less ammo, less health. <laughs> yeah, see, like, this one's stuck up on the wall, all like that. <laughs> yeah, see, it did so much better, hon. Thank goodness. Never thought those things would take your head off. I mean, they got big old, they got big old scythe blades on their arms. A good point. It's like off with his head. Yeah. I was just seeing if that one had any goodies hidden in him. He does not. But uh, let's see. Grab up any of the goodies that's here. Let's see. Goodies, 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 goodies. Hmm. Got start something in the vents. Fuck. I mean, yeah, obviously. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Uh. No. Gonna hold on to that one's claw, cause now we know there's more bad guys downstairs. Mm. Meep. And now the second one of his butt. Now the second one of his steps out. Oh! Boom! Uh, uh. Ah! 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 Die! 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 Must. <laughs> Yo! What the fuck? Where did he come from? Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Fuck off me. Yeah. Yeah. Quarantine lifted. See, there we go. They're all dead. Yeah. And I'm smashing them for their goodies. Oh. Like I said, hun, it's not RE4. They don't just automatically drop their stuff. Hey, right, good point. Remember that we got the little tutorial saying, you know, we got the little tutorial saying, hey, you gotta, you gotta smack these guys for goodies. Dr. Brennan. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Nicole Brennan. Okay, this is Nicole's office. Oh, you found your girlfriend. Awesome. Hey, hey. Dr. N. Brennan, senior medical officer. Ca Counseling session 03, transcript for patient name redacted. Dr. Brennan. Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe. Thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again? He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every, how every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. 
Unitology, Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. Of this is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists, too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I... Did something happen? I had a patient who... I tried, and her son tried. And so hard. But she... I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Oh. All right, so a little thing for, like, anyone who's familiar with Dead Space kind of already knows this part, but um, basically, Unitology, they share a lot in common with a certain other church that a very famous uh, Top Gun actor was involved with. That's all I'm going to say about it. Nicole, she's everything to me. She's lost somewhere on board. I have to find her and get us both out of this hell. Investigate emergency room. Uh, okay. I can't reach the emer investigate the emergency room. I can't reach the emergency room until I destroy the barricade. She was working in the em in the emergency room. If I retrace her steps, maybe I can find out what happened to her. Mm. But, yeah, yeah so, so that, that thing I was saying. saying. Now, now imagine also if the church um, had a lot more members, if the majority of, like, human... You know, if, like, a good, like, half of humanity was actually members. Oh. <laughs> Recharge. Yeah, the shock pad's going to be back upstairs. I'm just investigating everywhere down here. Okay, this looks like the clean room, scrub room, whatever. Stuff. Oh, stuff. Ah, bathroom, too, so that yeah, makes sense. Surgical log. Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable. To finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners. This transformation. The divide death itself. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. When my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without Kain. Okay. I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. I so, see. What was I telling you? That that Mercer guy was sounding kind of weird. So that means he's the a-hole. Okay. Main lab changing room. Okay, that's the way I, I need to go, so I'm not going to go that way for... I'm going to explore some of the rooms. Mm -hmm. Text log from, from Dr. Kine. <laughs> Personal log, Dr. T. Kine, Chief Science Officer. Observations on the marker. The vidlocks from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The Black Marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new one? What secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? The Marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. 
In the darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comforted me, saved me. And now I'm here, in the right place, at the right time. To be of service to all humanity, to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. Yeah, join us in paradise. Like I said, these things are kind of weird, but with, you know, everything being such a craptastic, you know, dystopia, you know, Basically, basically dystopia, dystopia future. future. Mm -hmm. Scan rig to unlock workstation. Oh, oh that's, that's not weird. Oh, holographic recreation. Him meeting with the captain. You wanted scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is divine. We know this. They're both unitologists. Yeah, dude, you should be worried. See you later. Oh, there we go. Mm. Secret bookcase. Pull it aside. Oh, he's got the creepy scrawlings on, on here. He's got the I'm crazy thing. Don't believe the lies. Read what they really say. Oh, and it's a cipher for the for the unitology symbols. Mm. Yeah, multiple scrawlings. Wow, all kinds of stuff here. Ooh, yeah, this is a room for exploring later. Uh, this will probably be supplemental video stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Noted. <laughs> Come back later to check that shit out. <laughs> Hello. Uh. Uh. Oh, hey, hey, that one didn't. didn't hey, that one. Didn't, I, I hadn't gotten his stuff yet. yet. Yay. Free ship. Let's see. Is there a save station near here? Because we are. Because I did see we are getting. Ooh, schematics for a stasis pack. So now I can buy them from the shop. Yay. Yay. Oh, we're almost out of time. <laughs> Oh, I'd say we've got about like 15 minutes. Ah. When I was trying to take a picture of the symbols. Ah. No, I'm still gonna wait for now to. Still only got the one power node. Mm. Oh, hey, save station. It's been a bit. But yes, let's save. Yay! Yeah. We're not calling it yet. We're going we're gonna to see if we can just do one more thing before we hit our time. Unlocked. 
Biological Prosthetic Center. We keep you working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep you working. Not anything like... In case of emergency, proceed to hospital wing of medical deck. The BPC is for stabilized injuries only. <laughs> wow. Thanks a lot, D-Bag. Hello! Oh, someone's alive! Yeah. What the? Uh, what the fuck, fuck is, is this, this little thing? thing? Hey, Sprouting so tentacles from its back and oh Hello. god, it just it just oh. killed this guy. Like it pinned his hand to the glass. Yeah. And then it, okay. And then it kept hurting him and it blew his fucking head off. Okay, he's no longer alive. What the? Uh, what the fuck was that little thing? That was like beyond tentacles, something or other. Oh, it was like some little. Thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now I have to go into the room where it just was. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ah! What the fuck? What the? Yeah. What the? Oh. Oh. Uh. uh oh. Why? Oh, hon. What oh, is it? Oh, this. Uh. Oh god, that's, that's so fucked up. up. What? Oh god, god that's so fucked up. up. Oh god, god this, this is even more fucked up! up. Uh, Hun, there's, there's a bunch of like... like... Oh god, I'm even thinking back to the, of one of the Borg episodes of Star Trek TNG, man, but... Uh, good god. Hun, there's little incubator babies here with babies in them! Oh no! And oh, there's a mutated baby! Ah! No! What the fuck? Did we do any experiments? What the fuck? Well, no, 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 oh, these all look like... Well, no, uh, remember, this is the, this is the, how do you think they get the, the prosthetics, huh? Biological prosthetics? They grow people for parts! Oh, uh, true. True. Yeah. And I don't mean that to say, like, okay, it's the future, yeah, that is kind of how you would do, you know, bi biological implants and stuff like that. You'd grow, you'd, you know, you'd figure out cloning technology, and then you just would fucking grow the part. Or it's in a freaking Bacta tank like this. It's just, oh god, the necromorphs can infect the babies in the, the babies in the small tanks. Ew. Or rather, the ones in the small tanks can become infected, escape, and kill people. They become these horrible little things that, that climb, that climb and jump on the walls, and they sprout tentacles that are freaking dart launchers. Uh huh. Cause yeah, there's a dart pinning this guy. His hand. It's like he got shot with a fucking nail. Hmm. Damn. Text log. From Z Caswell to D Leal. Subject: Clerical error. Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been removed. Has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been waiting on the list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took a priority over a cornea. D. To D. Leal from Z. Caswell. Subject, re subject response to clerical error. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase, one didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to, vit to vital personnel? It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about on filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Zoe. I guess it's all downhill from here. Okay, another one of these little small elevators up. Yeah! Woo! Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Whoa! It's one down. It's two. Yeah. We have three. Yeah. 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 Me. That's what I'm looking around for, huh? I'm looking to see, is there a number three? We got a number three around here? Doesn't look like it, okay. 
Break the crate. More stuff. Stay the base. Open. Open. Okay, sanitary, sanitary showers, shower. aka scrub up. Stay the base. Unlocked. Okay. Open. Open. Limb stimulation therapy. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Shock pad. Ow. <laughs> the pain makes you learn. All right. Turn off the shock pad. Open the door. <laughs> Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. <laughs> Okay, shock pad and something that can that goes boom. So I put those together. We don't have a way to destroy the barricade. Yeah, basically, we basically have a C4 charge now. What? How? The hell? Ah! Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Me! Where to God, they made these things a lot harder to fucking kill now. Uh, well, gotta love it with the remake. Well, it's annoying because... He's right. You know, I don't think it's entirely just the fact that it's early in the game my guns do shit. Mm. Point. Well, at least it's not like having that one knife like in Resident Evil. We always appreciate your business, employee name. <laughs> uh, before I do the shock pad thing, I remember there was a bench back over here towards the uh, diagnostic wing, so I'm gonna go over here real quick. Surface 
plasma cutter. Three nodes. Capacity. Three nodes. Damage. Capacity. One node. Damage. Capacity. Pulse right. One nodes. Damage. Capacity. One nodes. Up. Down. Spacing zone. Ox. Spacing zone. Oh yeah, I am seeing that warning thing, so yeah, now we're kinda new. We're now out of time. Yeah, so I'm gonna get us back over there to the uh, tram station. Mm. Or to the main go to the main junction room. Mm. <laughs> And you know, we'll do one last thing before we shut it off. It's like, click, click. <laughs> yeah, basically a portable defibrillator. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I think for the take cover to detonate thing, they want me to go in here. Yep. Yeah. Well. Blew the barricade. There we go. Now we can get into the morgue. Yay. Uh. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's all right, we got him. Yeah. Inventory. All righty, folks. So with that, um, we're gonna call, we're gonna call it for tonight before we head into the morgue. Yay. I am looking forward to that. <laughs> oh yes, with all the dead things in here. Yes, let's go to the room filled with filled with dead things. Even more dead things. Yeah, so fun. But anyway, until next time. I'm Mari. I'm Richard. This has been Nerdy Sheet Plays. <laughs>